Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Oh my god, yo. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm thinking how okay, how long is Cap gonna be knocked unconscious from falling into a goddamn river while being choked by a person who's in a helicopter. Like, he not only took the impact of hitting the water, he hit the goddamn helicopter as well. Going to Moscow. Can someone tell me who this bastard is? What the hell? Is this a scene for Ant Man? This is the end scene for Ant Man. Okay. I guess things are starting to pick up. Steve, which Bucky am I talking to? Your mom. So nasty. She sucked your daddy dick and came in here and kissed you goodnight. Your mom's name is Sarah. He used to wear newspapers and <laughs> <laughs> Don't put putting that information out. Don't ever embarrass Cat. You're lucky Sam's a G. Bombing, the setup, the doctor did all that just to get 10 minutes with you. I need you to do better than I don't know. He wanted to know about Siberia, where I was kept. Why would he need to know that? Because it's in Moscow and he just went to Moscow. This is all bad. So Siberia's in Moscow, right? Where the hell is Siberia? Where the hell? This is why we need more Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. It taught you shit in the 90s. Yeah, the blue nut sacks. We got this. Oh, oh, those are like IBs. Uh -huh. Did not know. Yo, her neck muscles are tense. Damn, that's the dude who was drowned upside down. So he did, he wasn't just some guard. He was literally like a dude running shit in here. Uh. Oh, shit. Oh my god, how many punches was that? How many punches was that? 2,432? How many punches was that? Ooh. Ooh, that's a hard boy to die. <laughs> Get your sternum turned into goddamn garlic powder. Maybe not. I know a guy. And this is where the man of the ant should be brought in, I assume. Seeing that it was an end credit to his own movie. This time I won't be wearing loafers and a silk shirt. 72 hours, guaranteed. 36 hours. My left arm is numb, is that normal? Well, is, is Tony Stark gonna have a heart attack? That would require a heart. <laughs> T-Cat! Don't you ever question my allegiance? Disrespectfulness all day. A T-Cat. I have an idea. Me too. Where's yours? Downstairs. Where's yours? There's only one so bitch out Queens. The Parker of the Peter. I'm quite interested to see this Peter Parker. I have not seen a Spider-Man movie since the 90s. Hey, mate. No challenge is too great. No enemy is too strong. The most popular, most daring, most exciting superhero in the entire world. The cheap, crappy piece of garbage that we were given! What are you, what are you, what are you doing here? It's about time we met. Let me get my emails right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, regarding the... You didn't even tell me about the grant. The grant? Oh. Oh. You didn't tell me anything. What's up with that? You keep your secrets from me? Why is, I just <laughs> Why is Aunt May hot? This walnut date loaf is exceptional. Let me just stop you there. <laughs> He's like, these lies will not be tolerated.
overrated? You knew that was coming. This is a pause. The first time in the history of the channel. We're pausing. Because the impact and the importance of Peter Parker in Civil War, in the comics, cannot be spoken while this scene is happening. We must take a pause, people. Because it shook the world for the comic world, that is. You people who didn't read the comics probably didn't even know what happened. But for us, it was huge. Because not only did Spider-Man join Team Iron Man, but Iron Man convinced um, Spider-Man to reveal his identity on live TV. This happened. The whole reason he wore that mask was to protect the ones he loved. What do you think happened after he did this for Tony in Civil War? His family gets attacked like that. It just happens. Like It's one of the most destructive things that ever happened to Peter Parker's life. Okay, It's so bad, this one decision. The only way it is undone is by Peter sacrificing everything, okay? Everything to actually get his anonymity back. It is one of the worst decisions Peter Parker ever makes in his life, okay? So the fact that he's in here, it means something. So I'm curious to see how they take this because for me, his role in the comic version was so vital and so important and it had such a, a lasting imprint on what happened after. It's very big, man. It's very big. So, and, and, and now, so I will add, he did join Team Cap in the end. Again, just Team Cap! Just Team Cap! Team Cap. Okay, it's the worst thing that could possibly happen. And him being here is just buck wild. So let's see what they're going to do with Peter Parker. Because it best be good or I will flip. <laughs> You're a dumpster diver. Yeah, He's a salvager. Uh, anyway. I like that. That shows his ingenuity and his smartness. That's you, right? Ooh. Oh, no. what do you that's think? in the Spider-Man game. That's why that suit's in there. I was wondering where the hell that suit was. Okay, because I haven't seen all the Spider-Man movies. The last Spider-Man movie I saw came out in the goddamn 90s. I didn't see the Raimi movies. I didn't see the reboot with Jamie Foxx was, was up in that. Didn't see those. And clearly I haven't seen these. I don't have faith. Comic book movies sucked when I grew up. They sucked hard. You're the Spider-ling. The Spider-ling? Crime-fighting spider. You're Spider-boy? Spider-Man. Uh, put some bass in your voice, boy. Put some Spider-Man. Put some bass in that voice. Spider-Man. Put some bass in that shit, boy. You're in dire need of an upgrade. Systemic, top to bottom. 100 point restoration, that's why I'm here. Is he getting his suit from Tony? That's, that's interesting. The only suit he got from Tony in the comics was the Iron Spider suit, which I love. Had arms came off the back. Because I've been me my whole life. And I've had these powers for six months. Well, he's only six months in, okay. Look, when you can do the things that I can, but you don't, and then the bad things happen, they happen because of you. Ooh. Is that the movie version of a great, um, with great power comes great um, responsibility? Ooh. I like how they said that. I can't go to Germany. Why? Homework. <laughs> I'm pretend you didn't say that. No, Chris, better tell Aunt Hottie I'm taking him to the He has the web shooter! He has the web shooter! Because I did hear that the Raimi ones apparently made him organic. I don't like that for one reason. For me, it takes away 
how smart he is. He made all of that. Guess I should have not. Oh shit, like Hawkeye showing up. I retire for what, like five minutes and it all goes to shit. <laughs> consider the con okay, they're considered. Okay, we gotta go. I knew it should have stretched. <laughs> Oh, you can't overpower me. I know I can't, but she can. I'm sorry. She's taking over the Mind Stone. This is what I'm talking about. They will never stop being afraid of you. Damn. I can't control their fear. Only my own. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! What are we talking about? That's what I'm talking about! What? Are we... Did you see? She changed... She used the Mind Stone to change his density! Can you move your seat up? No. <laughs> Sam's a brave motherfucker. He's literally sitting behind a dude who literally at the drop of a dime or the wrong word being said or potentially even a noise could flip out and try to murk him. Get it, Cap! Get it! Thoroughly get it! Oh, oh she was down. No. Y'all can take a couple minutes in her car, you know? Yeah! Yeah! The man of the ants himself. What up, buddy? How you doing, guy? I'm shaking your hand too long. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. <laughs> Captain America. I know you too. You're great. <laughs> I can't blame him. Like, what would you do? What would you do? Suit up. <laughs> Get your suit up, good sir, people. Confrontation time. Confrontation time. I'm about to see confrontations. Yes. Your old war buddy killed innocent people yesterday. And there are five more super soldiers just like him. Underoos! Underoos. Sort of bitch. It's a new suit. Wait, it's nothing, Mr. Stark. It's it's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan, Spider-Man. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Just. Hey, everyone. Good job. And you've been a complete idiot. You, you just brought a miner to a different country to fight somebody. This is. Whose parental garden doesn't know? Oh, 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 oh. All right, Lang. Hey guys, so oh. Oh, what, what, what the hell was that? I believe this is yours, Captain America. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, I want to see this fight. But then again, I don't want to see this fight. I love these two. Move, Captain. I won't ask a second time. Hey. Look, I really don't. Oh. Sa, sa, sa. She hit him. He, he, he did a three piece combo. Oh, dopeness. What the hell is that? <laughs> Everyone's got a. <laughs> oh, oh my. Ooh, yeah. You have a metal arm? That is awesome, dude. He caught Bucky's metal arm, peeled it back like a fucking outside onion layer as he was complimenting me. And what? Ooh, did you see that car laying on his um, left shoulder? Ooh. Oh God. 
I love his spider sense, even though it's not spider sensing. With the old gods and everything, like I see spider sense. Is this stuff coming out of you? I would explain the rigidity flexibility ratio, which gotta say that's awesome. Man. I don't know if you He's smart! Thank you for making him smart! You couldn't have done that earlier. I hate you. <laughs> yes! Throw it at this. Now! Oh, come on! Oh, man, I thought it was a water truck. <laughs> Ah, they brought in Vision. Look how. This is where things become unfair. But then again, they have Scarlet Witch. They win still. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's Scarlet Witch. That's a lineup though. That's two. That's a, that's two dramatic lineups. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this is gonna end well. Walk towards each other, face each other down. I do wish Luke Cage was in here. He was a major part of the comics. Please look into Luke Cage's amazing. Okay, we're trying to catch everything here. Oh my God. It's, it's an overload. It's an overload. This shit happening everywhere and it's like, I'm full out this bitch! I didn't kill your father. Then why did you run? Oh. Oh. Damn. Yeah, I mean, there's not many who can fight Black Panther hand to hand, okay? That's not an easy task. That thing does not obey the laws of physics at all. <laughs> I'm loving it. One of the things people don't get about Spider-Man is that literally part of his his combat style is the quippy. Ooh, because what the quippy allows him to do is it's actually a distracting tactic, and it works. That people are so irritated that they don't pay close enough attention, and that's how he gets a hand up. I mean, Ant-Man being shot at an arrow—that's straight from the goddamn comics. I will look at this. That's right from here. Oof. Yeah. Guess he had a point. <laughs> oh my god, Cap with the shield now is incredible. Where you from? Queens. Brooklyn. That's <laughs> We need a diversion. Something big. I got something kind of big. Is he gonna go giant man? On my signal, run like hell. Is he going to go Giant Man? He hasn't even gone Giant Man in his own goddamn movies. Is he about to go Giant Man? He's not going to die, is he? In the comics, Goliath ended up getting killed by the fake Thor in Giant Mode. Please don't let that happen. I actually like him. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Ooh. We haven't met yet. I'm Clint. I don't care. Damn, dog. Yo, Black Panther's a menace. I'm talking about the blackest of all black Air Force Ones on his feet. I'm telling you, yo. He does not care. You're not gonna stop. Black, you know I can't. black Widow is literally the final, final defense? No, oh, Black Panther. I thoroughly thank um, Marvel for that interpretation of uh, Spider-Man. That was truly great. Coming from the last one I saw live action, like I said, it was the early 90s. It was not good. Maybe it was late 80s. I don't remember. 
or I saw it in the 90s. I think I was like five or something. So that was that was great. That was great. I love his energy. I love his smartness. I do miss that he didn't make the original kind of design suit because he kind of stitched that together. But him getting one from Iron Man, eh, it happens in the comics, so I'm okay with it. I know, so I can I can see some purists completely bitching about that though. Vision, you copy. Target his thruster. Turn him into a glider. Oh! 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 oh. Um. Okay. Is Rhodes gonna take the Goliath spot and die? Ooh. I'm sorry. Why does he say he's sorry? He didn't do anything. Vision did that. All he did was dodge being shot himself. Why did he say, hey, I'm sorry? I do not understand that. Please, let me know your thoughts. My thought is this. Vision shot. After Rhodey called in the shot. Is it Falcon's fault? That Falcon saw what was, saw the beam coming to hit him. Made a maneuver that he did not get shot. And then the shot that. Once again. War Machine called. On Vision to Shoot. Shot War Machine by accident. You didn't have a choice. You didn't have control. You were a victim in this as well, man. Maybe the most severe victim. Imagine you having no control over your own body and you are just killing people. At least he's not dead. <clears throat> Civil War had a major death. A major death. Damn. The fake doctor is actually Colonel Helmut Zemo. <gasps> Baron Zemo? <laughs> Fucking Baron Zemo? And I love the portrayal of him. Also found a wig and facial prosthesis approximating the appearance of one James Buchanan Barnes. Yes, you've been wrong this entire goddamn time. Team Cap. Tip Team Cap! Team Cap. This is some... I, can't, I wish he had his mask, though. He had, like, a, a purple mask that, um, at one point, like, it's like a, a hand down, too. Like, his dad had it at one point. But, like, it gets, like, adhered to his face at one point. It, it's crazy. Legendary Captain America villain who became an Avengers villain. Is this the rat? They have the rat. I kind of wish that um, Mr. Fantastic was in here. He's a major part of the comics as well. Quick pause. Mr. Fantastic also played an important part in the original Civil War. I, um, I do know that there's a Fantastic Four movie coming. I know it's been casted. I know Pedro Pascal, which is an interesting choice. I don't think I would have gone that route. Only because he's really kind of pushing 50. That's my issue. Um, I would love somebody pushing 40. They'd also... Could also be that smartest man in the world, but also, you know, not be too old. So they're in that believable age range for, for most people. Uh, that's what I would uh, I would have went with. I Don't don't ask me who I would have chose. I don't know enough actors to do that for you. But I can say that's what I would have went for. I think Pedro, age-wise, 
Great actor from what I've seen last and all that stuff. But my point is, in Civil War, he was a major um, factor because Tony started using started using criminals to help his side of the fight. That's how bad Iron Man started to fail. Okay. It's had lasting implications in the comics because some people still just don't trust him because of that. But anyway, back on point, people. Because I know you're like, what the hell is he talking about? What the hell are you talking about? Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Mr. Fantastic also helped in the creation of the Thor clone as well as creating a prison in the negative zone where they were holding some of the heroes. So they didn't use the raft like it's being portrayed here, but you don't have Mr. Fantastic, so you don't have the negative zone, so you can't have the prison in the negative zone. There is a mission where they have to, Captain America's team, break into the negative zone to try to break people out. Like, it's a great part of the comic. But Mr. Fantastic created that. So I, I wish he had been involved in this, but I guess, you know, I don't know how right situations work. I understand that apparently they didn't get the rights back until Disney bought Fox. So, okay. Um, I did see the first Fantastic Four movie that, that, that came out. Not the Roger Corman. I saw that in 92. But the one that came out in the early 2000s. And that is when I decided... I'm done. I wasn't interested in Spider-Man movies, to be perfectly honest. I didn't like how the suit looked from the trailers and pictures I saw. I was that petty back then. Leave me alone. But, you know, just telling you the truth, people. Letting you know what's going on in my brain when I see this movie and I see the rap, which is dope. But wish we could have got the prison in the negative zone because that breakout mission was dope. And then if you ever played Ultimate Alliance 2, that video game lets you play the Civil War storyline from the comics. So you kind of get to like l go through the comic version, but in a video game form. And it's not 100% correct, but neither is this because it's called adaption, which I'm cool with. But if you want to play a cool video game or play Civil War for yourself, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 2, they remastered it a couple, like two, three years ago. So it's on... Like, uh, I know it's on Xbox One and PS4, so that means you can play it on X Series X. I don't know about PS5. You gotta check that out, so. Look, I'll tell you, but you have to go alone and as a friend. Easy. It's about time some fucking rationality was brought back into this man's mind. I'm trying to cut back on my, my F-bombs. That's one of my... One of my wishes right in my head, like, could you not say the F word so much, baby? So I'm trying to cut back on I think I've been doing. I think I've been doing all right. I don't know. Sometimes I catch myself trying not to drop it. Ugh. Oh, damn it. That was good. Damn awesome. Ooh, that may be my favorite suit suit up he's ever done. Do you understand? Do you understand? Ooh, that was dope. And here is Black Panther. He, Black Panther is in this movie is like, you got on some socks, you got on some snow boots, and you get a itch in the middle of your foot. There's nothing you can do but take all that off to get to it. That's what he is. He's always there. Oh, look at that pose. Look at that pose. Oh my God, I want that as a poster. Give me that as a poster. Give me that as a poster. Send me that as a poster. Come on, movie. Just, just, just virtually download it right in front of me right now. See my hands? They died in their sleep. Did Zemo get here and murder all of them? Did you really think I wanted more of you? Oh, yeah, he murdered all of them in their sleep. Zemo is a vicious villain in this movie. I think he may be one of my favorite villains. He's subtle. He's understated. You didn't even know he was there, and he wrecked shop. This is how a smart villain would work. But now that you're standing here, I just realized there's a bit of green in the blue of your eyes. How nice to find a flaw. Yo, this guy is the He's incredible. Lost someone. I lost everyone. And so will you. Great job, Tony. Your your failings just never find an end. 
I am telling you, yo. <laughs> that Ultron is a massive blummer, man. Blummer? Blummer. We're going with it. I know that road. What? 1991? What is this? Oh, it's the car. He killed the. He killed Tony's parents. Oh, shit. It's about to get real. Oh, no. Tony's not mentally stable enough to be able to handle this. He's going to flip. And he's going to watch it, too. Oh, oh. 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 The Avengers just died, huh? Yeah! That's what Zemo wanted to do. He wanted to destroy the Avengers. He's, yo, Tony's going for kill shots! This is an incredible fight scene. It completely incredibly staged. I love everything. Yeah, you gotta run, Buck. You can't be standing around. He wants blood, yo. You, you killed his mom and dad, dog. Even though you didn't understand. Left boot jet failing. Flight systems compromised. Like he doesn't care. He is. He's not. He's not here. He's gone. He's mentally gone. He is mentally gone right now. Damn, he's like, we ain't getting out this shit. This fight's happening, motherfucker. You killed my goddamn mama and daddy. Do you even remember them? I remember all of them. That's what I'm saying, man. Bucky's such a victim in this. Tony, please wake up. Ooh. See them pass the shield back and forth? That was so fucking dope! Oh my god! He ripped that power suit today. He ripped the battery out. You gotta stop him. He don't need it to stay alive anymore. He shot his arm off. That's the shot that I got it! That shot is idolized. It's immortalized in the comic. Glorious. This is what it looked like in the comic. My father, still holding my wife and son in his arms. Oh my God. If I could get them to kill each other. I'm sorry about your father. Don't let it consume me. Yes! Yes! This is no way, like, straight hand and combat caps wrecking Iron Man. Not even close. Look at the combos. Yeah, you had to run a goddamn AI program to even get a shot in. Come on now. He's my friend. So was I. Ooh. Stay down. Final warning. He's really ready to just kill at this point. He's just ready to kill. I can do this all Tell him, Cap! Rep it all day. Huh. Yeah, get the gear. Yeah, no protection. Yeah. Cap was not ever trying to kill anybody, you son of a bitch. You're sitting there just trying to murder you emotional ass creature. Shit, I'm emotional too, but I wouldn't just devolve to that. When you knew the facts, you knew he was brainwashed, had no control over what he was doing. You knew how you hijacked this man's mind, and you still could not 
factor that logically. And I don't get me. Like, I understand it's his mom and dad. But he also understand Bucky's a victim too. Team Cat. Team Cat. My father made that shield. And he gave it to Cat. I am so pissed off of that right there. I despise you right now. Iron Man, you son of a bitch. Where's JR when you need him? I signed because it was the right thing to do. Was it? Was it? And yeah, this sucks. This is, uh, this is a bad beat. Was it the right thing to sign, though? It hasn't changed my mind. Well, then you're a goddamn fool. And yes, in the Civil War event, the Superhero Registration Act was repealed. Because it was dumb. Oh! Are you Tony Stank? <laughs> Tony Stank? Tony Stank and Excelsior, Mr. Lee. But Tony Stank? <laughs> I don't like the idea of you rattling around a mansion by yourself. We all need family. The Avengers are yours. Ugh. I don't like him then. He's breaking into the raft. Are you telling me that the, one of the best parts of the goddamn comic, we don't even get to see in the movie? Oh, that's a little sad name. I wish we agreed on the accords. I really do. I know you're doing what you believe in, and that's all any of us can do. That's all any of us should. Indeed. We have a problem. Uh, please hold. No, don't. <laughs> and then Tony finds a way to just make you like him a little bit again. You need me. I'll be there. Cause he's cap and he's always there for you. Yes. I can't trust my own mind. Damn. So until they figure out how to get this stuff out of my head, I think going back under is the best thing. Damn, he's refreezing himself. Like, see, that's what I'm saying. Bucky's a good guy. He's the biggest victim in the MCU so far, man. In my mind. Look, he's going through this for how many years? Ooh, look at that suit. Pride on, my brother. Pride on. God damn. Your friend and my father. They were both victims. Yes, that's what I've been saying. You know, if they find out he's here, they'll come for him. Oh, he's in Wakanda? This is Wakanda? Let them try. Please show me Wakanda. Yeah, indeed. Let them try. They get destroyed. Wakanda's so dope. Let me see it. Oh, the misty. The misty fog. Ooh, oh. That's the old school Spider-Man logo. Dope. Oh. That was Glorifataculous. Okay. What? Okay, we're going with it. Um <laughs> That was great. Um I don't even know where to start. So much happened. Um I know where I want to start. I want to start with Baron Zemo. That's a villain. I don't know if everyone liked him as a villain or not, but let me tell you, for me, that's a villain. That's how you, after the disrespect of Strucker in um, Age of Ultron, the respect Baron Zemo got was incredible. He was stealth, he was silent, but he was vicious. And he was successful. His plan worked. Yes, he, he's in jail, but he didn't care. He probably knew he would end up in jail. Once again, his plan was to die. I did my mission. I'm taking myself out. I'm good. Everything he did was successful. By the time they figured out what was going on, and they showed up to the place. 
he was already like, my plan is complete, baby. I just gotta show you a YouTube video. <laughs> and that's what he did. He knew Tony's irrationally emotional ass would ignore the facts. And the reason I think that's a problem is because he's too smart for that. He has too much power and too much intellect to devolve what he devolved into, my personal opinion. Okay. So that's why I don't give him no cut when it comes to how his he acted once he found out that Bucky was the one. Because, yes, your parents were victims. Were they bigger victims than Bucky? He was forced to kill a, a friend. He killed his friend and did not have any control or choice. Think about that. Before he was ever your father, that was his friend. Like, and I know some people are gonna disagree, that's fine. But I'm sticking with my opinion. Uh, I'm sorry. Like, Tony, Tony was in a bad way very early on in this movie. And Zemo exploited it and used it to his benefit, okay? Let's not forget, Tony brought a minor to another country without the parental having any say or knowledge. That sounds pretty illegal. <laughs> to me, that sounds like the parent would say that's kidnapping. And when, you know, back in the day, wasn't taking someone across you know, like state lines, what's that like called a man act or something like that? What is it called when you take someone across borders of countries? Like we are talking about he's over on a different part of the sea. You know, he's a, <laughs> I think I may would flip the whole hell out. But you know, I guess we give Tony a pass on that. But Tony in this movie was a villain as well. He was he was used and manipulated by Zemo, but still a villain nonetheless. Um, and that is another cause for concern that has to be addressed and acknowledged. Did Cap do anything wrong? I mean, let me let me be bipartisan here. Let me be fair. Let me get my good angel hat on. What did Cap do wrong in this movie? Could he have tried to reach out and have a conversation with Tony? Like, hey, you really need, just need to listen to me and let me tell you what's going on. Yes. Do I think Tony would have listened? No. <laughs> so that's why. Um, I'll also say this. Should Cap have told Tony that he believed that Bucky, under my control, killed his parents? Yes. That's the one feeling. Failing, I will say, Cap had in this movie. Everything else, a hundred percent correct. Team Cap, baby. Team Cap, Team Iron Man losers. Y'all can take that L. And if that L was backwards on your screen, then I'll do like this right now. Either way, you take it that L, baby. Team Cap, all day. Never wear an Iron Man shirt. Nope, I have shirts that have Iron Man on it. Yes, but I'll never wear an Iron Man black shirt. Team Cat. Civil will put that in. Ha 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 ha. Team Cat won. And got bro. That yo, okay. My negative. Biggest negative of the movie. Ha! Do you have the glorious breakout scene? At the end of the movie, we don't get to see none of the Rocky. Come on, man. That was a major part. I would love for that to be in there. Okay, at least I should be happy that it showed up in some form. Okay, so I, I get that, but you know, God, that prison part is so dope. If you play the video game once in Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 2, um, you get you do get to do that prison break part. Um, and then the game gets crazy. Uh, but yes, this was dope. Um, they didn't have to team up to fight a global threat of mind control virus. But 
they got to it did come together in a small form and Zemo destroyed it. Now let's get to the major big parts. There's two big parts we got to talk about. Spider-Man, Black Panther. We're going to start with Black Panther first because he was a menace. He was a monster. You could not evade or get away. Well, you could, but it took a lot. And he showed back up again. He was relentless. Relentless. And his fighting was immaculate. We are talking about he jumped in the air and being, before his feet touched the ground again, he threw three powerful kicks. Okay? Like, he manhandled Bucky multiple times. Him and Cap would love to see a prolonged fight scene of those two, but, you know, they, you know they're friends. They're, you know, um, the respect level between those two is at the highest order. So, at the same time, I'm kind of happy we didn't get to see that. But, oh, my God. That tunnel scene where Cap is driving and he looks in the side mirror and... <laughs> <laughs> that shit was fucking hilarious. It was dope as hell. Okay? Like, Black Panther was the most unstoppable monster in that scene. It was literally like getting chased by goddamn Black Panther. Okay? He was just evading on some biatches. Okay? He took out Sam. Sam was just flying, minding my business. Ah, I'm coming to help. What the hell? Like... Black Panther's on him. We're talking about <laughs> Bucky's like, I got in the way after mercilessly destroying some poor innocent bystander on a motorcycle. Who knows what happened to that dude? Traction at least. Bucky, you may have to do time for that one because you were running for your life, but God, you coon. Give me your bike. Flipping around in midair. Landing right off. But you didn't get away. You know why? Because Black fucking panther came through as the breeze falling behind him and just -a -ding. now you're rolling okay and at the same time cap side turns a car jumps out full speed like come on what are we talking about what are we talking about i was energized i'm still energized oh Yes, yes, yes. I know my wife is like, shut the hell up down there. Ooh, what the amp uh, amp uh, amp uh, uh, uh. She was dope. Love this movie. This movie's a goddamn 9.75 out of 10 because we have the same room for what uh, the next Avengers movie could do. They had to fight the animals or something. I'm so energized, I'm tired. I'm flippity floppity flippity pants. I'm this movie was I loved it all. Except for the slightly skip over the scene. Let's talk about Spider-Man now. I grew up watching the Fox animated Spider-Man show. Spider-Man. That. <laughs> X-Men, that, and Batman the Animated Series, pinnacles for me. I've always leaned more towards the animated movies as well. I've always left live action alone. The ones I saw were terrible and it just never, I never sat well with it. And then um, when they were making the X-Men movies, I just, no wasn't interested because I saw the pictures for the first one and they just all had on like like black leather suits and I was like they don't even have their suits they're not taking it seriously so that's what really kind of created my I will not see these live action movies that's why I have the ability to say I can watch these now having not seen them and it not be a goddamn lie because that to me I don't want to have put all my time into these comics and then we're making a movie then the movie is just like I understand you're making it for the for also for the majority of people who have never even seen these characters in the comics. I get that. But for God's sakes, that's like having a James Bond, you know, and he's not doing his spy stuff. Yeah, he, he like it's like James Bond not having well detailed tailor suits. Okay, it's part of their 
their DNA, their outfits. You know, you see a bat, you see the Batman outfit, you, like you, that means something. You see Superman, that means something. They had their suits in their movies to some degree. But for Marvel, they were just blacked out. It was like, okay, I'm not. And I'm talking about looking back at the pictures from the from the old uh, Superman movies from the 70s. Okay? I can look at those, which I will do one day. Because I'm sorry, I didn't know how you could pull off Superman flying. I'm sorry. Um, how do you do that? Or the Chiefs just look... Or, okay, uh, side deviation here. My, my, you want to know why I've never really seen any Superman movies? Because I've never seen any Superman movies where the person playing Superman looks cut. The ones from the 70s, when, when I would see, I, I, I've had people try to show them to me. I don't want to see it. You know why? He doesn't look cut. He looks slender as hell. I'm sorry. Just my opinion. I want a Superman that looks like if a piece of water like fell on him, like it would just combust from the amount of muscle ripplage that he possesses. Okay? I've never seen a Superman comic where Superman is slender and thin. He's always cut diesel side. So that's how I like I want to see like get people who get them in the goddamn gym. You pay all these money for these goddamn movies, pay put them in the goddamn gym. Okay? I don't want, like, oh my God. Oh. I don't want Batman suits where Batman is like, all his muscles are because of the padding. I don't like that. It's a little distracting for me. Because it doesn't make sense. Maybe that's just me. Give him the goddamn outfits. So that's why a lot of these comic movies have just not been seen. Because I would see pictures, I would see trailers, and I was just like, heh, heh. Don't like what I see there. The only one I wanted to see that I can't wait to watch one day is Blade. I could not see it because when that came out, I was 13 years old. And my mama said, fuck no. Okay, but my God, when I the day I watch Blade, I will be a happy some bitch. And that day is coming, probably sometime in the summer, because it seems kind of kind of right. The sun summer's kind of bloodthirsty. Blade got vampires. Then you know, it looks like yeah, man, man. Actually, let me do that in like around Halloween time, because vampires have a Halloween thing, and I hate vampires. Uh, I'm not a fan. I don't like vampires, I don't like zombies. I love werewolves for some goddamn reason. <laughs> um, back on target here, because I just started rambling, and I can do that. You know why? Because I'm fulfilled by what I witnessed in this. Scarlet Witch was a menace, what she did to Vision, where she used his own Mind Stone to increase his density and then pummel him through the earth. Who knows how far she's sitting now? Vision now knows he is not the most powerful. Well, we probably already knew that. But he thoroughly experienced it in a way he never wanted to. We can say that in agree, I think. <laughs> Hawkeye was dope, he was funny. Uh, a little bit disappointed that Black Panther completely disrespected him. <laughs> we haven't met, I'm Clint. I don't care. <laughs> like straight up. I don't care. <laughs> that was funny as hell. Um, Ant-Man going giant man was incredible. Ant-Man going giant man. Ant-Man is like a goddamn MVP on the loadout. Whenever he shows up, you're happy, you're feeling good. The Paul Rudd actor dude is great at it. it you just feel good when he shows up. And I really enjoy that about him. Such what happened to War Machine. I'm a War Machine fan, but at the same time, he chose the wrong side. And, you know, I disagree with Falcon feeling even a percent of an infinitesimal point of a piece of guilt. When you factor that, he did nothing wrong. The shot was ordered by War Machine to be shot at him. 
okay? Okay? He said, turn that thruster into a glider. His words. Vision shot. Clearly somehow his visor or something told him an impending shot was coming. He did a maneuver to not be hit. The beam went past him and just so happened to be lined up on the chest piece for War Machine. That simple. Not goddamn Falcon's fault. If it's anyone's fault, it's War Machine. You called the shot. You're an airplane pilot. You gonna tell me you don't know that the other pilots don't make maneuvers themselves? I'm just saying. Um, and then 10% goes to vision for missing, but I would say 100% of points go to Falcon for making the miss. What are we talking about? That shit was dope. Falcon has some dope ass shit in here. When Falcon just bombardly hit the goddamn helicopter, what are we talking about? When he came in and did the spiral kick, blah, 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 what are we talking about? When Scarlet Witch threw a dude in the air and he came through with the wing clip, what are we talking about? When he was standing there, doo, 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 shot two missiles, landed, hit two dudes behind him, what are we talking about? Falcon's a menace. Okay? Ooh, I just realized when they were in that buggy car, we literally had a moment where we had three Captain Americas in one car. Because Bucky becomes um, Captain America at one point, and Falcon becomes Captain America at one point. So bad. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Um... Agent 13, I still don't trust you, but you fought, you showed up, you got put through a goddamn table, hope you okay, if you're good, hope you're not, if you're evil, don't know about you, because once again, y'all could be playing the long con, because in the comics, she was under my control for who knows how long, so, I'm just, I'm just gonna be fair and honest, for the ones who are devious in the comics, I gotta be careful of how devious you may be in the goddamn movies. You know what I'm I just have inside knowledge. That's just, it's just facts. It's gonna be fair. Um, it's nothing to say about Scarlet Witch outside of what I said. What she did to Vision speaks for itself. Um, whew. But I love the action. That airport fight, whatever you wanna call it, was incredible so much happened there editing that is going to be a pain in the ass i don't know how long it's going to take to get this video up to be perfectly honest with y'all because that so much happened that i would want to keep in but it comes to the point of how much of one scene do you have you know and then so that's going to be interesting but that was incredible the in fight scene um, with Bucky, Cap, and Iron Man. My God. That, you see that being a pain in the ass as well? Woof. But incredible. They outdid themselves in the stunt coordination. And I'm really, really impressed with that. But once again, 9.75 out of 10. Let me know what's your favorite part of this movie. I don't even know how anyone can choose just one thing because there's a billion things that happen in here. <clears throat> but my God. Please let me know your favorite part of this movie. Because I would love to know. Because my favorite part in this movie. And y'all might not understand it. But for me. Um, it's simple. And it's beautiful. Spider-Man's holding up the little bridge thing. Captain America says. Kids you got hard. Where you from? He's like Queens. Brooklyn. And it runs off. That's a comic book lover's dream right there. Simple and elegant. I loved it. Let me know your favorite parts in the comments um, below. I'm drained. I'm tired. I used a lot of energy on this one. <laughs> but it was worth it! Whew. Yes. I also want to thank my members. Got all of them. Nope, that's the wrong side. I think, I think it's right here. And all my members right here. I want to thank every single one of y'all for being, being glorious members. 
Um, I feel my voice starting to go. My phone's starting to hurt. So I'm not going to scream y'all names on this one. I hope y'all will forgive me for that. But I love y'all. Y'all my peeps. Once again, members down. Uh, memberships are down in the description box below. That was insane. Um, I believe the next movie in the MCU journey is Doctor Strange. Strange. Um, I'm really excited to see that one. <laughs> and that's to be a fun journey. But until the next one, we will see you in the next one. Because the next one was where the next one happens. And when it happens, it keeps happening because we never want it to not happen. And when we love it to happen even more, it happens even more. Because the more you love, the more you love. Yeah, we will end it right there. <laughs> yeah. Go, 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 go.